Okay, Abhigya says, what do you think about the cigar-shaped oddity from outer space, Oumuamua? Was it artificial as it had no comet tail? Okay, let's put Oumuamua on the screen, shall we? So it is depicted as something that looks like, like it has a cigar shape. Here we are. So this was a visitor from outer space that, uh, that uh, passed through the solar system, through the inner solar system. I think in 27. Yeah, it says 2017. So it was detected after it was already it had already gone around the sun, uh, achieved its closest distance to the sun, and it was already speeding out of the solar system by this time. Uh, so this is the kind of trajectory it took, and it was detected when it was already going past the orbit of the Earth, and it was like uh, about 80 lunar distances away from the Earth. That's when it was detected. It had already made its uh, closest approach to the sun and it was traveling at incredibly high velocity which means that it was passing through the solar system only once and most and it will never return the the trajectory is hyperbolic not parabolic or circular or whatever or elliptical sorry yeah it's a hyperbolic trajectory as far as I, as I remember so why is this curious so there are certain things about this object which make it very unusual first of all it is at least 10 times as long as it is broad and you don't ever find any asteroid or space rock or comet that has such dimensions so let's say it's a it's a hundred meters long and 10 meters wide at most it's a very long and thin object that is one strange thing about it that's like one in a thousand kind of characteristics at least secondly it is it was extremely reflective it gave off a lot of light which was reflected, sunlight that was being reflected from this thing's surface. It was so reflective that it looked like it was made of polished metal. It was at least minimum 10 times more reflective than your regular space rocks. That's the second thing, which is strange about this object. The third thing is that it accelerated away from the sun. Typically, if a space rock goes around the sun, you can predict the, the, the speed at which it goes away based on the speed at which it approached. It's simple mathematics and Newton's laws. Now, this thing, Oumuamua, it actually accelerated away from the sun. It did not go in a, in a constant uh, speed. There was acceleration, as if there is a rocket jet behind it of some kind. But as it went further from the sun, the acceleration decreased as the inverse square of the distance from the sun, which is very strange. It's like an inverse power law kind of thing. So now we have certain objects that behave like this. They're called comets. Okay. We have comets that accelerate away from the sun because the sun makes the body of the comet. It heats up and it ejects water vapor and dust and gas out of it, which makes the comet accelerate. But comets, they accelerate unevenly. There are gaps and fissures in the rock and these jets come out in unexpected directions. So that's why the acceleration is stop and start in the case of a comet. But in case of Oumuamua, it was a smooth acceleration, very smooth acceleration, as if you have a, an actual rocket engine behind it. Nobody saw any rocket engine. but And then they tried to look for carbon dioxide and gas and dust through, very, through the Spitzer Space Telescope and other telescopes. Nothing was detected. So in the case of a comet, when it's accelerating, we can see why it's accelerating because you have this entire comet tail behind it, which is pushing the comet forward and accelerating the comet. In the case of Oumuamua, nothing was de detected, detected. No ejection of, of dust or, or, or water vapor or, in, or carbon dioxide or anything was detected at, at all. So it was somehow accelerating, but there was no mechanism that could account for the acceleration. So it's like a one in a million kind of object. So the, the, the physicist Avi Loeb, the Israeli physicist, I believe, he said that this is behaving like a solar sail. There are two possible shapes that this object could have had. One is a cigar shape and the other is a pancake, pancake shape. Okay. So pancake also from the side, it will look like a cigar. If it was pancake shaped, if it was metallic, then that can explain the acceleration. The acceleration will be because of solar radiation. It's called radiation pressure. Radiation itself can make you uh, make a solar sail accelerate. You know, uh, let me show you what a solar sail looks like. Let's put this back on the screen. Solar sail. So this is what a solar sail looks like. And this is accelerated and propelled merely by sunlight, by the radiation pressure of sunlight. So if Oumuamua was a solar sail, that would totally ex explain 
its acceleration and the fact that the acceleration slowed down the further it was away from the sun so it was highly reflective so reflective that it could have been made of polished metal metal it was possibly a disc shaped object which is the shape kind of like a solar sail and its acceleration was again something that can be explained by its by it being a solar sail so yeah all of these factors they make it look like this could have been very much artificial but obviously we have no actual evidence for this we only have some data and this data is very strange okay but when this guy avi loeb uh, spoke about this he wrote i think he wrote a book about this he was ridiculed by the scientific community which tend to, which tends to be extremely uh, conservative but i think uh, it makes kind of it kind of makes sense what he has said what is spoken about this and written about this so yeah we don't know for sure what it was but its behavior and its properties were very strange and they can't really be explained unless you you think of it as a solar sail